Hello and welcome my beautiful, beautiful Leos. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of January the 29th to February the 4th, year of 24. Let's just jump right into this reading this week, okay, and see what we've got. Well, your download message, my beautiful lines, my Leos, is you've got this. So, you know, we'll look through this reading as we move on, but I think you're working on a project or a situation in your life and the universe and the divine, the powers that are being are saying you have everything at your fingertips to go after what you want. Whatever plans you've made, whatever action you've taken, uh, whatever um, <clears throat> initiatives that you've put out there, you're going to see that you've got it. Okay, you, you're going to see uh, the rewards coming in. Don't be concerned. Don't worry yourself that things aren't going to work out. You do have this Eight of Swords, so step out of your way. You're going to get through this this week. Okay, whatever challenges you've been dealing with. Now, coming in with your first card, we have the man here. And this could be a new interest, love interest coming into your life. Uh, this could be you. You could be thinking about wanting to give a gift or, or uh, make a call or connect with somebody. Um, but this, I always look at this card as someone who has a useful aspect about them. They they can be whatever you want them to be. He's dressed in a dress shirt and he's got bare feet. What does that tell you? This guy is mutable, flexible. He He's willing or she's willing to go with the flow. Someone who you're going to connect with on a very good emotional level. Uh, it could be a new love interest. It could could be a soulmate, love mate, playmate. <laughs> Coming in in your first row could be past tense or the energy that you're feeling uh, in the beginning of the week. You've got the Ace of Cups, the World, and the Ace of Pentacles. Two beautiful Aces. Well, we talked about this, man. Uh, you've got the Ace of Cups, New Beginnings. Perhaps somebody new is coming into your life if you've been wanting to have love and a, and a partner and, and that in your life. There's a good possibility somebody new is coming towards you. But it can also be the resurgence of a romantic relationship you're already in with somebody that you're involved in. So maybe you haven't had time. Maybe you need to get out there and make that date night. Or maybe you need to do something special for each other and spend time together, okay? Don't allow the chaos and everything out there in our world to, to um, you know, influence your relationship where you guys are too tired to do anything or where you take advantage of each other and you don't, you know, you want to bring that spark and those creative juices back into a relationship. You could also be falling in love with a wonderful situation in your life that makes you feel this way. Woof, another ace. Ace of Pentacles. Doors of opportunity are going to be opening up to you. You're going to be, maybe you're going to be receiving, uh, you know, some unexpected money, an inheritance, a windfall, a raise. Um, you know, Maybe you're getting a new job description where you're leveling up that next ladder rung uh, at work uh, where you're going to be having more responsibility but getting the rewards for the hard work you're putting out there. Ace of Pentacles is always good news when it comes to money coming into your life. Wheel of Fortune gets better and better doesn't it oh leo you're so lucky this week and you've got the ten of pentacles oh my goodness this is a good reading okay so the world is the card that says it's the end of one cycle. I called it the wheel. I'm wrong. This is the world, but it's great. It's the end of one cycle and the beginning of a new one. So maybe you're, you've ended a relationship and you're going into a new one. Um, maybe you're, you know, you're going to find a new, uh, something new here at work. I, you know, a, a it's the end of that particular cycle and the energy that you've had around you, perhaps. You're able now to go forward and create something new here. Some of you could be actually contemplating traveling and going the distance on a vacation, or maybe you're just going the distance on this journey within yourself to, uh, to keep evolving and growing and expanding and uh, seeing success coming in. Wow, beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> Coming in next, you have the stairway. And this is a card of change. It's the card of choices. You have to make a choice that's going to change things in your life. Um, you might have two opportunities and choices to make here, but you're definitely leveling up. Okay, you could be given an offer here where you're going to have to think about, do I want to do this and stay or do I want to go? So this is a card that says you're definitely going to make a good decision. This is about choices and decisions that are going to allow you to level up. So maybe you're getting that offer here for a different job, a new job, a, a, um, you know, a new job description, uh, a promotion, anything like that. So coming in in the center position, you have that eight of wands. I said, get out of your head. You've got that ten of pentacles and you've got the three of pentacles. So... <clears throat> Um, I think that, you know, you have to step out of your way if you, you because what happens is we start to presume and assume things aren't going to work out when things don't happen ASAP for us, right? 
So my beautiful Leos, this is about you stepping out of your own way. Uh, you're holding you're holding your own progress, your own success back by getting up in your head and worrying that it isn't going to work out. So it's very imperative and important that you start thinking positively. You start manifesting and, and, and believing that this good energy, this good job, this good relationship, whatever it is you want, is going to come to you. And you manifest it that way. Okay, you believe you deserve it. You believe it's coming. You don't start getting up in your head and saying, oh, it's not going to happen to me. Uh, they're not going to like me. I'm not good enough. Well, of course, it's not going to happen. You need to be proactive and stay more positive here. Get out of your way. Um, working at teamwork here is very important at this time for some of you. And getting together with the right soul pod, the right team, the right people in your circle that are going to want to promote you. Um, this is maybe at work. You might be asked to step up and uh, convey information articulately and creatively to people at your place of work where maybe you're putting out a proposal, an idea or something or changing things up where they're going to allow you to step up and voice your opinion. But everybody here in this team wants the same goal. They want to succeed. And I think that's where you get the unity and you get the power by building something up together. Some of you might be wanting to collaborate and have these communication and these conversations with somebody that might have the same interest in you uh, and a goal for your work, for your job, for your career. Don't be afraid if somebody asks you to step up on the podium or a platform and teach, preach, and convey information to others. Be open to that. Okay, my beautiful Leos, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, a beautiful card of success, especially when it comes to harmony and peace within your family and your tribe and your soul pod or chosen family. Uh, being able to feel uh, one and, at one and in peaceful in your own environment there, in your own circle of light, your standing. Now, there could be peace and harmony restored in your family unit with your kids and your, you know, your children as well. There's going to be happiness there. But the big thing here is there's security here. When we get this Ten of Pentacles, it says, it's okay. The bills are going to get paid. The mortgage is going to get paid. You're going to have enough money. Things are going to work out financially for you in the material part of your life as well. So you pretty much get it all. Happiness in the home life, and you've got enough money to enjoy life with them. Wow. I like it. Okay, let's see what we have next. We have the compass. So the compass is indicative of going on a journey uh, or planning uh, to move forward or, or taking a trip. But being able to know the direction you want to go and setting that compass, staying focused and going in that direction. Um, this is about you having the security now and the freedom to do this. Okay, so don't be afraid. You've got this. You can go where you want. If you're planning a move, if you're planning a relocation, if you're planning a new direction, if you're planning a new career, if you're planning a new relationship, go the distance. You can do this. Set the compass and believe you're going in that direction. Okay? Wow. Coming in in the last row, which could be the end of the week, or the energy coming towards you, you have the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Death card, and you have the Five of Swords. So let's jump into the Five of Swords. You know me. I always jump into the bad one first to see what's going to happen. Okay, Leo. Five of Swords. Um, sometimes this is called the no-win situation, getting caught up in the battle mode, win the war, lose the battle. There's always risks and consequences when we get into arguments, discussions, debates, or even, you know, something like that. Uh, you know, you don't want to get into battle mode because when you do, there's always going to be something and both parties lose something. Okay, um, something may not have turned out the way you wanted it to turn out. And um, you need to, again, let it go, uh, you know, because it's not how it ended up. It's how you're going to deal with it from here on. So get step out of your way and realize that in the future, you're going to pick your battles wisely. Coming in with the seven of pentacles, planting your seeds, waiting for your harvest to come in. You might have put out an idea, a proposal, a phone call. Um, you might have initiated something here where you're waiting to hear how they received it and how they're going to react to it. This is unnecessary worry, my beautiful Leos. Uh, you did everything right. Look at how secure the roots are. Look at how the foundation here is he's built. Look at the look at the, the harvest coming in already. Small albeit, but it's coming in. Okay, so there could be small rewards coming in in increments for some of you. Uh, and, and you're anticipating for the rest to come in. And it probably will. Maybe you're getting a sort of a supplement payment or something uh, where they'll say, yeah, we can give you, we can release this much right now, but you have to wait for the rest. Okay. But don't worry. It's a needless worry. It's coming. Oh, death card. Okay. Endings, new beginnings. Simple and as that. So, you know, Often people look at the death card and they get all upset and they go, oh my gosh, what terrible tragedy is going to happen and befall me? Nothing. 
Okay, this could be the end of a contract, the end of a project, uh, the it could be the end of a relationship or a friendship, the end of a job that you you know you're you're moving on to, to a new one, um, and you know when we see this, it's the death and endings, which is fine, but look at the rebirth, looking towards your future with vision and promise and 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 anticipation and enthusiasm, knowing that now you can open those doors to opportunities, new beginnings, start something new, recreate yourself, go out there and do what it is you've always wanted to do now that this has happened you can okay so new beginnings are coming into you but things had to end just be careful of your your you don't get caught up in other people's drama you know pick your battles wisely you're doing everything right here so don't worry get out of your head and step out of your way because there is prosperity coming into you and look at it in the form of the ace of pentacles and also the ten of pentacles so let's see what we have here for additional messages for you, my beautiful Leos. Let's see what we have here. I'll shuffle these cards here and see what we have. Okay. All righty. I'm going to put them down here on my desk. It's much easier for me to shuffle. <clears throat> I still have that tendon in my thumb that's killing me because I used to be able to do this with my cards. And <laughs> and now, you know, the powers that be say, ah, no, you can't anymore, Brenda. You're going to have to shuffle them in a different way because you've heard that and you won't listen and you won't stop. And I am ambidextrous, but I do lean into right. I write with my right hand. I eat with my right hand, but I do everything else with my left. Everything else. I shuffle cards with my left. I open boxes and bottles and lift I reach with my left hand to do things like that so um yeah <laughs> I'm ambidextrous I had to learn when I was a kid I broke both my arms before I was 10 I was born with a calcium deficiency so I had all brothers and um they rough housed and you know I wanted to keep up with them and next thing I knew I was always in emergency with another broken arm and um I had to learn to write with my other hand and I did it at a young age so I don't know I'm do everything with my left and my right. Okay, coming in with the Ace of Cups. Balance, peace and harmony, moderation. Don't jump into anything too quickly. And that might mean even a new love coming into your life. Take your time. Think about it. Uh, this is a card that says you need to balance those emotions. Remember, when we get that, that, that major card, which is the six in the major arcana, it is the lovers. And the lovers doesn't have to do necessarily with meeting and having a hot, passionate, romantic love affair. It has to do with balancing, okay? Thinking about your moves, making those decisions and being calculated about it, okay? So this is about slowing down, taking your time and realizing that you need to balance the energy around you. But you've got help because you're getting downloads, messages and guidance here from spirit. Look at these wings, okay? You've got that there coming in. Coming in next with the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Four of Pentacles. So you might be thinking about money right now. Um, you know, how you're going to save it, how you're going to spend it. Uh, some of you might be wanting to buy a big ticket item, but you're holding back. It's like when we get the Four of Pentacles, it's like, okay, um, I'm going to take care of myself here. I'm going to save some money. I'm not going to spend so much. Um, I'm going to set that aside. Sometimes they call this the miser and the hoarder, but I see it as being wise with your money right now. Okay, being careful. Coming in with the world card, new new cycle changes coming in, going in a new direction, creative juices flowing. You have the four of swords. Four of swords says don't push yourself so hard. Okay, you might need to take a call a truce or take a time out. Don't make any snap decisions right now. Take yourself to that safe place. Just pull back a little bit and say, you know what? I'm just going to think about this. Coming in with the eight of swords, getting up in your head, you've got the judgment card. So something might have happened legally uh, where you were worried about a situation because it was the swords and the judgment card comes in and a judgment call is being made. And again, I see this as you moving on, making a command decision to do something different and leave leaving a situation and going in a new one. Uh, the judgment card says it's like rebirth. It's like a second chance. It's like, oh my gosh, thank you. Okay. Coming in with the three of pentacles, you have the ten of swords. Yeah, things are going to end. Things are going to get better. You're going to get up. You might have felt betrayed, left out, uh, stuck in a situation where you couldn't move forward, but it's over. Okay. You're moving on. You're able now to get up and go in a brand new direction that you need to go in. So tough times are going to come to an end. Coming in with the Ten of Pentacles, you've got the Hangman. Now, the Hangman says you might feel as though you're in a situation right now hanging in limbo. Okay, you might be waiting for something to happen, and but it's temporary. You're not stuck here indefinitely. Okay, once you get what it is, you the information that you need and what you need to let go of in order to go forward, you will get off this situation. You're going to see things will change and you'll be able to hit the ground running and go towards 
goals. So, you know, think about your moves. You can do work in the background while things are slow, okay? If for any, for whatever reason, you're kind of there in, in limited able to go forward right now you can still work behind the scenes coming in with the five of swords you have that beautiful sun best card in the deck leo okay good luck good energy karma coming into you that is the best um possibly getting together with someone who is your good luck to uh, maybe you're going to finally meet the right person here. Uh, but it's good health. It's good energy. It's all over well-being, good luck. And it's wonderful when you get that. So stop worrying, okay? Coming in with the Seven of Pentacles again, stop worrying. You've done everything right. You've got the Emperor. So now all of a sudden you do have a clear direction. You are logical. You are organized. You are in charge of your emotions. You're in the seat of power now. You can call the shots, okay? You're going to find that whatever you're waiting for, you did well for it, okay? See the rewards come in for whatever that is you've been working on. Now let's see what we have with the death card. We have the king of swords. So standing up for yourself, standing in your truth and in your integrity is what's going to be save the day. But also this king of swords could be somebody that you could be retaining for a real issue. There was a divorce, the ending of a situation here where you hired a lawyer, an advocate, somebody that was able to come in and give you wise counsel. Uh, this is somebody who stands in, they're very wise and they you know, you could be dealing with military, you could be dealing with, um, <clears throat> you know, anything like that, but you could be dealing with the law as well, okay? So there's something here that you're going to require counsel for that is going to cause, every, a, 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 you know, the end of one thing, sealing it, conclusions, and being able to move forward in a new direction. Wow. And remember, this is a general reading. This won't pertain to every single Leo out there, but some of you might say, yeah, I get, I mean, I get the great greatest messages and so many of you say it was dead on somebody you know so many of you say that happened and this card meant something so i love you so please continue with that beautiful uh, the beautiful messages that you send me well my beautiful leos this is the end of your reading for this week of january the 29th and i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful wonderful healthy prosperous and happy uh week to come always know i send you lots of love and many blessings and leo i'll see you soon